the Georgia Court of Appeals has placed a stay on the criminal election interference case against former President Donald J. Trump and eight other defendants. This decision comes as the appellate court prepares to address the question of whether Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie T. Willis should be disqualified from prosecuting the case due to a potential conflict of interest. This stay will remain in effect until the appellate court resolves the issue. The appellate court has tentatively scheduled oral arguments for October 4th. Legal experts predict that the appeals process could take several months, effectively freezing the prosecution of Trump through the upcoming presidential election. Critics and opponents of Trump, who hoped he would face trial in Georgia before the election, are disappointed by this delay. The disqualification issue arose after it was revealed that Willis had a romantic relationship with a lawyer she hired to manage the case. Defense attorneys argued that this relationship should disqualify Willis and her entire office from the case, although Fulton County Superior Court Judge Scott McAfee allowed Willis to remain on the case, the defense successfully convinced the state appellate court to hear a pretrial appeal of his ruling. Among those appealing the disqualification ruling are Rudolph W. Giuliani, Trump's former personal lawyer, and Mark Meadows, Trump's former White House chief of staff. This appeal is just one of several legal challenges Trump faces, including a recent conviction in New York and pending federal cases in Florida and Washington, D.C. Legal experts note that the Georgia Constitution requires the appeals court to issue a ruling by March 14th. If the court fails to do so, Judge McAfee's ruling allowing Willis to stay on the case will remain in place. The stay has also halted other pretrial motions, including Trump's claim for pres presidential immunity from prosecution in Georgia. This claim parallels a similar argument made by Trump's lawyers in his Washington, D.C. case, where he faces charges of conspiring to subvert democracy after losing the 2020 election. The U.S. Supreme Court is expected to issue a ruling on the immunity question soon. However, due to the stay, Judge McAfee will not be able to rule on the immunity issue in Georgia for several months. This situation could potentially lead to further delays if Judge McAfee's ruling triggers another round of appeals, potentially postponing any trial until 2026. The stay has revived criticism of District Attorney Willis, a Democrat seeking a second term. Critics argue that her handling of the case which is one of the most significant state criminal prosecutions in American history, has been mismanaged. Legal ethics expert Clark D. Cunningham described the situation as stabbing the case right in the heart. Despite the Supreme Court's involvement, the likelihood of a Georgia trial before the election was already low due to various pretrial defense motions that could have caused similar delays. A spokesman for the district attorney's office declined to comment on the stay. In addition to Trump, Giuliani, and Meadows, others appealing the disqualification ruling include former Trump campaign official Michael A. Roman, former Georgia Republican Party head David J. Schaefer, former Trump campaign lawyer Robert Cheeley, 2020 Trump elector Kathy Latham, former Department of Justice lawyer Jeffrey Clark, and Harrison Floyd, former head of Black Voices for Trump. The decision to stay the proceedings in Georgia has significant implications, effectively freezing much of the legal work that had been progressing under Judge McAfee. This development, combined with other ongoing legal battles, adds another layer of complexity to the numerous cases involving Trump and his allies. 